teenagers fall in love too easily true. That and when they do they fiercely believe that this will be the last time they will ever love and that that person most certainly is the love of their entire lives does this sound familiar. Like high school this might as well have been the plotline for Romeo and Juliet. But of course things get worse since teenagers are rebellious by nature why not make this one true love a forbidden one we all know the of the original story h but what if romeo lost interest in juliet after he won her heart or what would happen if juliet fell in love with another guy months after they got together well let's check this out now one really knows what made the capulets hate the manu what we do know is that there was a party and during this party Romeo locked eyes with Juliet let's say. Instead of a tragedy the couple lived. Happily ever after that is until the day. Romeo woke up depressed because he saw. Juliet more as a friend than a lover. Oh what now Romeo unfortunately this. Happens often Romeo might have suffered. From something called disillusionment. Which is when the rose-colored glasses. From which one views the relationship in. Its beginning are ripped off and the person must deal with the truth rather than the illusion they created in their minds sometimes in the beginning of a relationship ship we project onto the other person what we want them to be we don't really see them for who they truly are psychologists say this is something that tends to happen with egocentric lovers an egocentric lover pins all their hopes and dreams on the object of their romantic interest in the heat of passion usually at the beginning of a relationship they might be willing to do anything for the other but according to experts the whole project is self-centered as the heat starts to slowly cool down things start to get complicated the egocentric lover starts to withdraw once they realize that they're Loved one is incapable of fulfilling all. Their needs s deep ha truth is if. Shakespeare ever wrote an alternate. Version of Romeo and Juliet he might as. Well have written about disillusionment. It's so common it wouldn't be a surprise. If it happened to our favorite. Characters now let's say Romeo's Uber. Cancelled a few times before he could. Leave for the party and he got there. Late as soon as he arrived a friend he hadn't seen for a while kept talking to him for over an hour when he finally escaped to go to the bathroom he ran into a beautiful girl he even thought to himself that he had never seen a girl that lovely before but as soon as he left the bathroom he saw her kissing another guy so Romeo just shook his head and went straight back to the dance. Floor he opened up the dating app on his phone and looked for another girl to match. With if Shakespeare's drama took place. In our modern world this might as well be the case maybe Juliet had a crush on Romeo too but was afraid to show it. Since he didn't show any real interest. Either in the era of social media love is a fragile thing especially for teens. The online world shows us an abundance of options so why commit to just one? Researchers have delved into this question quite a bit sociologist Ziggit. Ballman has called it liquid love where love and relationships are something non-permanent it describes a fluid approach to relationships as fluid as swiping left on your favorite dating app. Tinder has over 50 million users and it's present in 190 countries it receives over 1.6 billion swipes per day. It's a brutal marketplace because there is the expectation to always find something better the thing is liquid. Love makes people live in a paradox. According to Jenny Cubble a psychology professor her students are searching for a lifelong love but most of them admit to having short-term relationships with little commitment young people say they Want things such as commitment and trust, which usually come in long term relations, but they also say they get 
bored after the thrill of the beginning is over it's not an easy equation version number three gets even better let's say that back at the party juliet tried to get romeo's attention but her love interest was hooked on another girl rosalind juliet stood in the corner while she saw the love of her life kissing her cousin which only made things worse juliet spent weeks even months trying to separate romeo from Rosalind until she finally succeeded a heartbroken Romeo found solace in Juliet, and during his neediest times he fell in love with her they started dating moved in together and even adopted a cat the whole deal one day Romeo found out that Juliet had been cheating on him with her Italian tutor Roberto I mean really yeah really most of those that have been in a relationship no heartbreak and they'll know that heartbreak is as physical as it is emotional in this case Romeo was still infatuated with Juliet and when found out she was cheating he felt all sorts of things heartbreaks activate the insular cortex which is a region of the brain that processes pain but the insular cortex doesn't distinguish emotional pain from physical pain so heartbreak can hurt as much as spraining your ankle you know what they say though. That time can heal all wounds as days. Past Romeo found himself daydreaming. About contacting Juliet again while. Cleaning up his house he found some of. The things Juliet forgot to take with it. Sometimes the drive to reach out felt. Overwhelming like an extreme hunger or. Thirst this happened because the ventral. Tegmental area was being activated the. VTA is the motivation and reward center of the brain that drives feelings of longing the same part of the brain that was activated in the beginning of their story together and made them obsessive over one another this is one of the reasons why breakups are so confusing and a lot of the time people end up getting back together even if for a brief time this is not the case for our Beloved couple though since Juliet ran. Away to Europe with Roberto now let's. Rewind the tape to the original version. Of the story boy meets girl they fall. Madly and deeply in love but have you. Ever stopped to think if there is any. Chance that these star-crossed lovers. Were only feeling the after effects of. Pheromones in their bodies yes yes and. Yes stones are natural chemical signals. That convey important genetic or even physical information what happened when Romeo and Julia locked eyes was an instant recognition in their brains that their genetics matched well together as soon as that happened Juliet started producing a bunch of estrogen and Romeo started to produce a whole lot of testosterone these hormones are responsible for creating this insatiable lust lovers feel for one another then. Again this is not as romantic as the whole soulmate narrative which is why Shakespeare chose not to mention this at. All what this means is that Romeo and Juliet were doomed from the start you see in this lustful phase of love we lose our ability to think critically the part of the brain involved in falling in. Love talks louder than something called the prefrontal cortex which is where our ability to think critically lies and when we are teenagers the area of our brain responsible for our self-control is still maturing which means we truly have little self-control it makes sense that romeo and juliet were teenagers right because if they met while they were in their 30s they would forget the whole thing after it got too complicated Juliet would prefer to date some other guy whom her family approved of 